Hello friends, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a printer that's not printing anymore. The first thing we got to do is check if it's online. There's times when it, it, you accidentally set it for offline or it does it on its own. And we're going to print a test page just to test it out. And if everything else fails, we'll reinstall the printer driver. Okay. First let's check to see if it's online. So go to start. We're using Windows 7 now, so we're going to click on the start button and control panel. If you're using Windows 8, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and type in Control Panel and then go to Control Panel. Okay, we click on View Devices and Printers. You'll see your printer there. It might have an X right here if it's not working. First thing we want to do is uh, double click your printer. Just double click it. It might take you to the main screen for the printer or it might automatically go to this right here okay so go to go to the documents in queue this is where we want to get to you want to click on the printer tab you notice mine is set for use printer offline you do not want that checked so click on there it'll uncheck it just to make sure it's not checked anymore see so that's good that's the first thing we wanted to do make sure that's unchecked use printer offline. Now let's close out of here. Um, actually let's bring up the control panel again. Now what we want to do is uh, so go ahead and right click your printer go to printer properties. There's a button there that says print test page so let's go ahead and print a test page. This, if this comes up, a test page has been set to your printer, it means your, it might be working now. If this is error on there, it means um, you have to reinstall your driver. So my printer is uh, printing right now, so it's good. If yours isn't printing, then uh, let me show you the next step. You'll have to reinstall your printer driver. So mine is printing, you can hear it. Okay. If you got to reinstall the printer driver, go to the internet. So open up your internet. Type in the model of your printer. Mine is the Kodak ESP 3200 and type in driver or drivers or you can also try driver download, okay? Depending on your printer you then you're gonna have to look through your search results until you find the actual uh, printer on the manufacturer website make sure you're on the manufacturer website so I'm on Kodak right now mine is uh, right here Windows operating system that's the one for my printer I'm gonna go ahead and click on download I'm gonna save the file so go ahead and download and save your file now before you reinstall your printer driver you have to uninstall your printer that you have currently right now so go back to your um, go back to control panel and printers right click your printer and click on remove device and then say yes so we're gonna reinstall the printer so you have to remove it before you reinstall it remember it's removed not only do you have to remove it from there but you also have to remove it from your go to control panel and then click on uninstall a program look for it on your list here there's mine right there Kodak uninstall So the uninstallation process is going to take a while. Um, I'm just going to say remove software. All right, once this is removed, I'll get back with you guys and we'll reinstall the driver. All right, so it's successfully removed now. Now that you remove your old printer driver, now it's time to install the new one. Let's go back to the internet. I just downloaded it. So I'm going to search for my downloads folder 
just going to search for download. If you're using Windows 8, go to the start menu and just type in downloads. Okay, and there it is, downloads. It should be in here somewhere. There it is, a AIO install. That's it for my printer. So go ahead and open up your printer driver once you uh, download it. If it gives you a security message, just click yes. And the installation will start here in just a bit. Go ahead and accept whatever license agreement, whatever uh, the installation might look like for you. Uh, it's up to you if you want to register with your printer. I never register to anything. And I'm just going to select my printer, which is the ESP3200 series. Now, for yours, it might be a little bit different, but for the Kodak installations, this is how it looks like. So just follow the installation. Select if you're using USB or select if you're using wireless or a wired printer. Just click Next, Next. Just follow the installation. And uh, once this is installed, then your printer should be working again. I'll get back to you guys once I get through all this here. During your installation process, it's going to ask you, uh, it's going to detect your printer. Mine is USB. This is perfect. And I'm going to say yes, my printer is listed. If yours says no, then you might have to go into your printer. And let's say you're trying to connect it through wireless. You'll have to go into your printer and connect your printer to your wireless network and then try this again. And then, it, then it's going to recognize it. And then click next. And my printer is installed. All right, let's go back to control panel. Successfully installed, cool. Whatever your uh, main screen is, it's going to bring it up. That's what it's doing now. It might bring up some other crap, some other software. I always exit out of it. But here's the home center. Let's go to the control panel to make sure that it got installed correctly. And there it is. We got it on there again. Let's print a test page, right click it, go to printer properties, and print test page. And right now it's printing the test page. So when you print your test page, if you get this page here. Congratulations, if you can read this information, you have properly installed your Kodak printer. Yours might be an HP, whatever yours might be. If you get this, uh, congratulations, it means your printer is working now.